What's going on Clashers? It's King. Um, you guys, we're going to start switching it up a little bit. I'm not going to be doing the Battlefield series anymore. It doesn't seem like people enjoy it much. I'm just going to be throwing it in here and there, like random videos. Just Every day I'm going to make a video. Um, if I have Battlefield up, uh, I'll do it. I'll throw it in the video. But yeah, you guys, I'm trying to be making a little bit longer videos, like 20 minute videos each. Uh, my Dread Drake video, like, my thoughts on him and what, what his skill was going to be, it was pretty damn accurate, you guys. Just the only thing that was wrong was, once it got to, like, level 4 and 5, it started being the same target every two levels until 9, and then it went up by one level, by one target. So, at the, the end result, 10 of 10 was 10 targets, but my, the math I did on everything else... The damage reduction and uh, the damage per level was pretty much all spot on point. Um, but yeah, you guys, let's, let's jump into Lost Battlefield. It's the brand new, it's the first day of the season. Uh, I don't know if you refresh uh, and get like lower targets and you get less, or if I attack this guy with 1,000 right now, if I'll win that. I mean, like, if I'll get more points for that, but let's, let's do this. Let's, let's throw in our Skull Knight, see if we can get anything here. Um, so his Ares is up front, he's going to proc first, but it doesn't matter because my uh, Skull Knight is not going to win this, of course. Good stuff, good stuff, guys. That's all good. I don't mind. Um, yeah, you guys, I can't wait for the Hero Evolution. To be honest, I was more stoked about Dread Drake coming out than the Evolution. Like, that's the only thing I was waiting for. But I saw the Android release and a lot of the YouTubers that make... Uh, Castle Clash videos, they actually, it actually, like, I'm kind of more excited about the evolution now than Dread Drake, but I don't know. Okay, so we lost this first one. That's fine. Whatever. I don't mind. Um, Skull Knight is in this guy's first team. I wonder if my Skull Knight will beat his Skull Knight. Let's see. Um, looks like nearly the same team, not exactly. Oh, his Skull Knight, yes, his Skull Knight died before doing anything too special. Good stuff. But yeah, you guys, uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to evolve any heroes right away. But anytime I can, I will make a video on it. I have three spaces cleared in my, uh, sorry, I have four heroes that I unlocked in my altar that I will be eating and I'll show you guys all that in the, uh, right after this battlefield. Uh, let's attack this guy. But yeah, I was planning on getting Santa to 7 of 8 and then 8 of 8 War God. But the thing is, you guys, I might need to save some of those to evolve heroes. Even though I won't be able to do it right away. I kind of want to save them because all my heroes are around the same level. So they're all going to be evolving around the same time. Unless I want to focus on one a lot more. Uh, Vlad is my closest. He's at 166, and I have enough books right now to get him to 172. And the rewards that I'm going to get, I think, are going to put me over the top and make me able to get 180 to evolve him. But honestly, you guys, I'm not really looking to evolve him right now. I would rather put those books onto Dread Drake and get him up um, to around the level that all my other heroes are at. Um... But yeah, uh, what's going on here? We're going to win this. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, we won this. Good stuff. I don't even know what I've been losing, uh, what I've been winning. I've been paying attention more on my commentary. Uh, uh, did he proc? Did he? he didn't get to proc, did he? Nice. And he had the Aries uh, debuff on him. Beautiful. That was, that was beautiful. Um... I think we're actually doing worse, you guys, than we did last season. I, I, I don't know. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, and one thing, you guys. Make sure... I This is for the iOS users because it happened for everybody else already. Make sure to get everything done. It's going to give you a one to two hour notice right before it happens. But make sure to get everything done. So then in that way, you'll have... Uh, like, okay, don't forget to clear out all your messes. Clear out all your battlefields, your wretched gorge, your 
Uh, if you like to refresh your Lost Battlefield, do that before the update because all that stuff refreshes. I'm not too sure on here being monsters. I'm not too sure, but I think so. I'm not too sure though, you guys. Um, I have a lot of quest refresh cards I wanted to do, but unfortunately, like, I'm not going to really do it yet until Dread Drake is out. Because look, you guys, uh, I'm almost maxed out on all of my XP books. Other than the purples, look, watch here. Uh, yeah, look at this, you guys. 850 greens and 873 blues. I've already ate, I ate over like six, 700 blues and greens. Uh, getting my other hero, heroes up and trying to not cap out my green and blue books. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I've been saving all this stuff. I'm going to be unboxing everything you guys see here. And I'm, I'm going to continue to collect them until Dread Drake comes out. Once I roll the hero... Uh, or before I roll, I think I'm going to make separate videos on this. I'm going to be unboxing everything. I'm probably, I'm not too sure, but I, I'm probably going to uh, spend gems uh, on up, on upgrading all these right away. I want to get that 5,000 uh, gold storage or 5,001. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. 5 million gold storage uh, capacity. But yeah, you guys, uh, quick look in the altar. Guys, it's gonna break my heart. It's really gonna break my heart. Uh, tell me if you guys see a bad talent. Like, it's just insane, you guys. Uh, this is this is my worst talent. Can you believe that? This is my worst talent. Everything else: five of five, 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 five. It's too many, you guys. Too many. So, you know what we're going to be doing? Unfortunately, we are going to be consuming four heroes. One for Dread Drake and three for the Spirit Mage. The the Spirit, the Spirit Mage, Minotaur, and Destroyer we are going to be uh, claiming. Along with the 100, the new Tome Book 1s and 50 Tome Book 2s. If you guys don't know what the tomb book one does it gives you 100,000 xp so that's 10 million xp and the 50 tome books uh that are tome two those give 500,000 each so that's 25 million xp you guys um but yeah the ones i'm consuming is this right here this five heavy blow with a two skill druid five deadly strike druid with a two skill um, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. This Deadly Strike, because it is a double, I have another dead stri Deadly Strike. And this Flame Guard, I mean, I, I don't find too much of a use for Flame Guard, it's useless. Like, at least you'll be able to use a, this slowdown. Um, this is good for boss, but I mean, my main Thunder God has this too, I think. Or did I change it? I don't know. Yeah, I changed it. Yeah, okay, so I mean that's good. Because I had 505 Heavy Blow on it for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, guys, like uh, I have to eat four 505 skills, uh, four 505 talents with two skills, level 80s, uh, 20 inscriptions because that's their max. I'm kind of low on honor badges. That's why they're not all like 120 or 100 or whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, I don't really want to eat my blues because I want to keep five blues just in case I ever decide to do um, to do HBMT because I heard that if you want to farm that it's really hard to farm if you want to get close and try a hundred times and maybe beat it one time you're gonna need garrisons and the blues are probably the most important they stun um, but yeah guys uh, so let's just go quickly over my talents. Got a six War God Dracula. I got a five Revitalized Ares. Got an eight Berserk Pumpkin Duke. A six War God Spirit Mage. Um, a five Minnow Revite. Five Cupid Revite. Five Revite Multanica. Um, five Life Train Orcs Bane. Uh, six War God Santa. 5 Revitalized Warlock, 5 Revitalized Skull Knight, and then from here on is just kind of the heroes I don't really use ever. Um, 
But yeah, guys, yeah, you guys pretty much saw it earlier. And let's go into my uh, warehouse and let's check out my hero cards. Hero cards. Here are my hero cards. I have four pumpkin dukes, so I can pretty much sec second evolve them if I wanted to, if I had enough XP books. Uh, I have a shitload of Multanicas, and the funny thing is I actually ate like five Multanicas before I started collecting them. Uh, and I have like four or five open inside of my inside of my altar, so I have like, I, I've had about 20 Multanicas, you guys, roughly about 20, like a little less. Uh, I have three Aries here, like three open inside of the thing, including my main. I have one Santa Boom, one Vlad Dracula, one Vlad Dracula also open, two Triantars, only one Triantar, and that's my main, and the Harpy Queen. I've ate so many of my cards until I saw this new evolution crap came out, until I saw the update. Uh, I ate so many of the cards. But yeah, this is basically what I've accumulated over a short span of time. These are all mostly from um, events. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to be claiming all of these, like all of these. I'm not going to be opening up Legendary Hero cards or this Druid card. Well, maybe the Druid card. I'll just feed them to a Druid because I really don't care about it. It has some... Uh, this, this specific Druid card, why it doesn't come up in here, it doesn't say... Look, uh, you know how they guys say Pumpkin Duke Cupid? And they just have the name right. This one says Druid Card, which means that this Druid Card uh, was from the the daily rewards when they re-log in and stuff like that. And it basically gives you the Druid and it also gives you um, a couple slimes and a couple uh, books to level it up. But yeah. So we got four large boxes, so that's 400,000 blue crystals. Uh, this is 860,000. These are all, I'm keeping them all for thing. I tend to use them if I don't keep them in this. And uh, I can sell these for honor badges, but there's really no point. What the hell, 4,000 honor badges. This shit took me so long to collect, really? How much, 200, come on, man. I used the gold key for that. Uh, but yeah, and let's see how much I have a ton of shards you guys I'm showing you all this because I'm gonna I have such a huge plan for once this uh, Thing comes out. I'm gonna split up into like three videos We are gonna be going over the sweeps. We are gonna be getting we're gonna be rolling for dread Drake We are gonna be rolling for a talent all that good stuff you guys um, we are gonna be leveling up a couple heroes here and there uh, might be leveling the power leveling our um, our building storages and stuff like that I don't know yet but yeah you guys uh, so there's 20,000 so that's like that's like 410,000 worth of skill uh, skill XP I'm, I'm planning on getting Dread Drake to 7 I think yeah, I think I'm, gonna, I'm planning on getting him to 7 of 10. Probably not going to go that much higher. Um, but yeah, let, let's just check this out real quick, you guys. So let's just pull up a random hero. Let's just say Minotaur. Alright. So we have 67k plus the 410k. So let's roughly say 480k. 480k. What else do we have in here? We have these, you guys, this blue and this purple. These contain, at, this one contains right here at least 10 to 15K worth of XP. This one contains just a little bit less under that. So we have a roughly about 500 kicks. Oh, plus we got these too. These, these can have anywhere between like 3,000 XP to like 15,000 XP too, you guys. So we have a lot of XP to throw on that hero right when he comes out. I'm going to get him so high and I'm going to go run straight into the arena. Um, like the second I get him, before anyone even has time to put them on their defense, I'm going to put him on my defense too. Uh, I'm going to try to get as high as I possibly can because that guy ruins Ares. If you put him in an open lane, he's going to get to the other side proc like three times before Ares even gets to that side because he's so quick. Uh, you guys, if you guys can let me know what, like, give me a good talent option on him. I don't want Wargod on him. Honestly, I really don't want, oh, what the hell did I just do? 
Okay, let's go a little bit quicker because we are running out of time. I don't want to work out on him. I'm not looking for him to do damage. He only does 180% damage. That's not a huge amount. That's not Santa Boom. It's like 640% damage or some bullshit like that, you guys. He only has 180 and that's a 10 of 10. At the level that I'm going to be getting him at, he's only like 150. Only 150%. I don't really want to work out on him. I'm thinking Sprint or Berserk. I understand. Hear, hear me out, guys. I understand he has a skill cap. Uh, uh, yeah, he has a skill cap, like his, um, what do you call it? He has a cooldown of three seconds. But understand this, you guys. He needs to hit, he has fast energy recovery, right? So that means, no matter what, um, he's going to be 100% spec bar. But look, look at this. He has a 1,200 attack rate, which means he is going to proc every 3.6 seconds if he's standing still and hitting instead of three seconds flat. If I get at least a uh, 3 of 5 Berserk on him, this is going to take a long time. If I get at least a 3 of 5 Berserk on him, which is 20%, 1.2 over 1,200 is 1,000. Because uh, I know how to do the Basically, I don't know how to explain it too much. But I basically, I know how to do the math on how attack speed, movement speed, everything works in this game. Uh, but let me tell you this, uh, 3 of 10, uh, sorry, uh, 3 of 5 Berserk, uh, 3 of 8 Berserk actually, basically moves you up from 1,200 to 1,000. Uh, I know that. So if I can get a 5 of 5 Berserk on him, because I'm not going to accept a 3 of five, uh, three of 8 Berserk, that's, I don't like low talents, that's not my thing. Uh, he is going to be hitting, he is going to be proccing every 3 seconds, standing still, he's going to be uh, proccing every 3 seconds instead of 3.6 seconds. Those three point, those three seconds could be the difference. Just like this, this arena that we just had right here, this fight right here that just happened, is exactly what I mean. We procced at the exact same time, killing each other's team. And if I procced 0.6 seconds earlier, I was gonna be alive. I, my my all my team wouldn't have died. I wouldn't have wasted this much time, you guys. So I'm really thinking about Berserk with a Sprint Crest, but then again, you guys, look, this this is this is also what I'm thinking. I almost have a level four Berserk Crest, almost, and I have a bunch of level threes. I have a bunch of level threes. I have four level threes right now. I could I could upgrade it to four right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. If I put a three on him, which is exactly what he needs, he doesn't need more than three. I can go ahead and put a Sprint on him and get him to six of eight Sprint or whatever. I can find out no matter what if i if i fight someone and if i lose if i happen to lose somehow i can just go throw him in the open lane right after and i'll get the win no matter what he, he's gonna get to the damn altar and proc he's gonna proc okay he's gonna proc right off the bat he has five out of five revitalized he's gonna proc with his six of eight sprint because that's what i'll be able to get him right away with a 6 of 8 sprint, he's going to get his ass all the way to the other side so fast that they're not even going to be halfway through it. And by the time that they get off their stun, they have 1.5 seconds to walk. And I'm going to be proccing again after 1.5 seconds. From 1.5 seconds, they're going to be able to get from this ninja to where my Z is. You guys see this? They're going to get from the ninja to the Z in 1.5 seconds. Not even. I don't think so. He is going to ruin their lives. He's going to proc four, five, six times. They might even be dead by the time they get to their altar, you guys. I, I cannot stress how, how, how well this sprint is going to work on him. So that's what I think I'm going to do. If I can get a five sprint, I think I will keep that and I won't roll anymore. But if I just happen to run into, hey, maybe even a tenacity, you guys. Because look, he, his reduce damage scales so well with HP that it'll actually be extremely insane. This guy has almost as much HP as Orcsbane. I haven't done, I haven't seen the exact numbers, but he has pretty much the exact same HP as or Orcsbane, maybe a little bit less. I know he has better than Multanic, I know that. And he's gonna if 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 I get him to 10 of 10, he's gonna be reducing 90% of damage. 90, you guys, 90. That is a huge amount. That means they're gonna have to attack 10 times to get one normal hit off. And it's only gonna be down for 0.5 seconds if I get that berserk crest on him. 
<laughs> Come on, man. That, 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 that champion is going to break this game. He is going to be great in every game mode, I'm pretty sure. I could see him maybe lacking a little bit in HBM. A little bit. No, not, not even. He, lacking. Okay, okay. okay. I, I chose the perfect word. Lacking a little bit for HBM. But pretty much anything else, I see him completely ruining everybody's lives. Um, let me tell you this. If I can have him for one day that no one else has him, I will get to this number one spot in Arena. I promise you guys that. For one day, that's all I want. If I have him for one day and no one else gets him, I will get to that number one spot and I will keep that number one spot because he will be on my defense. That's how good this hero is going to be. I can't stress how good this hero is going to be. But yeah, you guys. Um, you know what, though? Like, honestly, I was thinking about this the other day. Can you guys just imagine if Skull Knight was immune to stuns? Can you guys imagine that? Just like how Orc Spin is? Can you guys imagine how strong that hero would be? That was just insane, man. I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, but yeah, you guys. Um, I got this storage to 19. Uh, these are all on their way to 19. I think they'll be done by then. Uh, and that'll put me at 4 million gold. And I have to make a choice, basically. Okay, if I upgrade this, right? If I... What the hell? No, not you. Okay, if I upgrade this, it gains another 100,000. Okay. Uh, but... Okay, look. So... I have five, right? If I upgrade, oh shit, I almost did that. Uh, if I upgrade this right now and I put up the other storage, I can have that five million in like literally no time. By the time that update is out, I'll have it. But the thing is, you guys, I'm not stressed out about it too much because again, I can't evolve right away. My heroes are way too low level because I quit for way too long. Um, what the, who is this guy? No. Um... But, yeah, guys. Uh, okay. Let's continue with the arena. Let's see what's going on. Okay, my Aries, my Aries and... Oh, you guys, I just finished my level 3 uh, sprint crest on uh, Minotaur. You know what the thing is? I'm actually, I'm actually having a lot more problems getting a sprint set than I am getting revitalized, berserk, revive. I have, like, three level 3 revive sets. I have... Four Berserk level 3 sets. I have... Uh, I have three Revitalized 3 sets as well. And I can't even place them on a hero because I really nobody else needs them. Because... Uh, what do you call it? Like... What is this? Like, okay, I would rather keep this than a thing. Uh, sprint, I'm going to keep that on you. Only my Pumpkin Duke really needs it. And I wouldn't put it on this guy. I like this 3 because it's a... Uh, Actually, he would need a four. Uh, Pumpkin Duke, uh, not Pumpkin Duke, sorry, Spirit Mage. He would actually need a four Berserk. Yeah, he would need a four Berserk for it to make, bring him down to 800. Uh, if you guys didn't know, attack speed in this game is uh, split up into 200 intervals. So you would have to get him to exactly 800 or below for him to attack 0.8 times per second. So, 10 seconds, he will, sorry, in 8 seconds, he will hit 10 times. Um, because it will be 1,000 over 1.25. 1.25 over 1,000 is 800. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, I, yeah, I like the Zerk on him. Uh, slow down is fine for him. Perfect HBM hero or boss or whatever. Uh, bulwark, I just love it on this guy. Uh, level 3 Bulwark with his 6 War God. I just want this guy to do as much damage as possible. I don't want anything else from this hero. Just do pure raw damage. This guy, I don't even know what the hell to put on him. I can't put Revive on him because he already has a 5 Revive. This level 3 uh, Revive is just fine on him, I guess. Uh, hey guys, I'm missing this. I really want it. I really want it. I'm so... I'm not... No, I'm not that close. I need one more... Level 2 Life Drain set, uh, Life Drain 3 for that set. Uh, tenacities, Revives, Bulwarks, Revives, Stone Skin, Heavy Blow, uh, what the hell is this shit called? Scorch, Scatter, Scatter, Revitalize, I have it on this one too. It's pointless, dude. Look, I, literally, I have nobody to put it on. I'm putting it on the Pumpkin Duke I never use. Uh, revive, another Revive. I just have so many of all this other crap that I don't need. 
and I can't. I only have two sprint sets, you guys. It's not that I'm lacking in all of them. I'm lacking only on one, you guys. The sprint four is killing me. Sprint four and slow down four have been killing me, you guys. Killing, killing, killing. Like, look, I have two more of these level three ones. Like, I can make one of them level four, but then I won't have this one anymore. Uh, oh, actually, I can make I can make two more of these. I would need like three more ones, and I can make a level three, and then I can have a one level four. But again, I don't find much point in that because, yeah, I just don't. Uh, but yeah, you guys, so my options right now when Drake, Dread Drake comes out, I'm either taking off, I'm either going to take off uh, the crest set on Minotaur that I have because honestly, I'm thinking about replacing Minotaur. I know that's the stupidest thing you've ever heard, but he's the only hero that I can possibly replace for uh, Dread Drake in uh, Arena. Really, I don't find any other hero you can replace. Uh, my side shield crest is the greatest thing ever, um, but yeah, I'm gonna take these off of him. If I don't get the, if I happen to get something else I really like on Dread Drake before I get the five of five sprint on him, I will just have to live with this uh, thirty percent movement speed um, and throw it on him and replace this one with a level three war god. Uh, but yeah, you guys, um, I don't again, I don't know at all what I'm gonna put on Dread Drake. All I know is it's not going to be a damn stone skin because he already has that shit and I can care less about reducing more damage on him. I really don't care. Plus, H, uh, uh, what do you call it? Increasing his HP would be a better thing anyway. It would scale better with his already damage reduction. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to continue uh, talking here a little bit about my thoughts and stuff like that about Dread Drake. I just can't wait till this hero comes out. You guys, you guys have no idea how excited I am. Um, I'm grab my heroes, throw them in expeditions. See, I'll show you guys how I do my expeditions. This is honestly the best source of honor badges that you can possibly think of. I just grab them, sprinkle them around here and there. Uh, just throw a Minotaur, boom. Throw this guy, cause no one can kill that guy. And massacre. That's how you do it, guys. Bam. R2, you guys. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, and it's so nice. Honestly, I criticize IGG sometimes so much by putting out so many new heroes and ones that are so good for Arena, you just have to get a revitalize on. Uh, I love them so much for putting revitalize on this hero because you guys have no idea how hard it is to come by a revitalize. Uh, I got I I'm actually one of the luckiest people ever. I actually got a five a five revitalize on a hero. Um, on a refresh a, ta uh, refresh a hero talent quest board and I used my talent refresh card so I basically got to revitalize completely out of nowhere when I shouldn't have even been on you guys I was driving I came I, I stopped in front of my uh, fiance's house um, this is probably if you guys watch my videos you guys probably know this is the third time I'm telling this story but it's just so amazing uh, I was in front of her house minding my own business I was like now, while I wait for her, she takes forever. Why don't I just... Let me just log on and see what the hell's going on. Alright, I'll start my quest. If there's a if there's a higher troops thing, I'll do that by the time she gets out. And by the time I get home, a couple of the heroes will be out. I see that quest refresh. I'm like, okay, whatever. Let me just go click this. I click it. I look up. I didn't even notice it. I look down and there's a freaking 5 out of 5 revitalize. There's a 5 of 5 revite, guys on my freaking phone screen. I never even play on my phone. It's just there for no reason. I was so excited. I finally got the last five out of five revitalize I needed for Cupid, you guys. Um, again, I was I was perfectly happy without having it on Cupid either. He was my refill Cupid. I didn't even need it on him. He, he just refilled up everybody's, uh, everybody's, what do you call it? Their, their, their uh, skill their skill bars or whatever you guys want to call them right after what they were all proc on in the arena but this is just as good you guys um but yeah uh, okay uh, you know what i love about lost uh, about this expedition mode everybody literally everybody has like four corner bases man it's just so easy to pick off and this is good because it helps each other out. You don't lose anything. Um, 
You don't lose anything when someone else wins, but hey, whenever they get the win, they succeed, and it's just good for everybody overall. But yeah, guys, uh, I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day, guys. Bye.